Hi everyone, this is Hi Williams. How everyone is doing today? I decided to make a unpopular wrestling opinion series about me discussing topics related to wrestling and wrestlers and what I think about it. And this is my opinion. So I hope you enjoy this rant on Cody Rose and Brandy Rose and don't take this rant personally it's just my my opinion my expression on Cody Rose and Brandy I don't know them personally and they don't know me personally we good so don't take it as like oh she just being a hater and she just always talks shit about the rose. I cannot stand her. I'm like, dude, you don't know me. And I don't know you. What's the point getting mad at me of expressing my opinions on what I think on Cody Rose and Brandy and wrestling and wrestlers? Okay. And this is called unpopular wrestling opinions. Okay, you got it. So let's discuss. Let me discuss on Cody Rose and Brandy. Cody Rose and Brandy to me is one of those interesting couples that. Like, no matter of fact, not interesting couples, but fascinating couples that always trying to do what's best for their relationship and their goals to be like a power couple or a couple that we need in wrestling. That's Cody and Brandy. The problem with Cody and Brandy is that both of them are just alike. They think alike, act alike. That's my opinion. And you can tell they were meant for each other as a unit, as one. But the issue with them is their insecurities and their egos. They constantly worry what other people think of them on Twitter, on social media. They always fo focus on their group of fans and not other people around them. And I think that's the reason why um, AEW and their relationship with other people backstage it caused a little draft. You get what I'm saying? Like a little draft. But that's the wrestling business. My mom always telling me this. You never do business with your family and your friends. Because the business will show who they really are. And it's best for friends and family should not work together. And in Cody's and Brandy's case, they are a married couple that work well together. But when it comes to other people, that's an issue. Like you got Cody, who is very popular amongst his peers. Then you have Brandy, who his who is his who is a wife of Cody and she just got into wrestling and she trying to be like him and trying to mirror Cody's ways. And there are lots of females represent Brandy represent Brandy as a wife who mimics 
the husband. And nobody don't talk about how women always mimic their husbands or their boyfriends who came from a powerful status. It's like the wife copy the husband, the boyfriend's personalities and mannerisms. And I witnessed this. I have a friend who works in a, um, okay, she works in this powerful um, corporation. It's a company corporation. I would say in Dallas. And she met most of the husband's wife down Dallas. And she told me stories that amazed me. She said that most of these females doesn't have their own personality. They always mimic the husband. Like if the husband work in this law, law, lawyer firm or this business, she always talk about her husband this, her husband that, the my husband name, and enough about nothing about themselves, and that's sad. And she feels that when she's around those wives who came from powerful families or husband who is powerful in their companies they are not showing their true personality and showing what they all about. And that's Brandy. And Brandy represent the girls that she's talking about. And not saying like Brandy doesn't have a personality. She do. It's just like she has to be like the equal of her husband. And I watch shots with Brandy and I watch her interview when she's by herself. She is cool. But when she's with her husband, she has to not outshine her husband. You get where I'm coming from? And I feel why I look at Brandy and Cody is that they're trying to build this legacy as a powerful dynamic, a powerful um, two couples. And when I look at them, it's like Brandy is trying her hardest to be like Cody. And this is my opinion. And she's her own person, but it's like she's trying to be over like Cody. She's trying to um, be the same as Cody. I understand that. But however, girl, just be you. You know, just be you. You are cool as you is. I'm talking about Brandy. I don't know Brandy. I don't met Brandy. I don't know Cody. I never met Cody. But it's like, do you. Be who you are. And that's the problem with insecurity. Like, I can tell an insecure person because I was an insecure person. Because an insecure person always second guess themselves, always question themselves. Or we have to prove people wrong. Like, I'm going to prove you wrong of who I am. That's an insecure person. A assured person and a confident person is someone like. MJF. And the reason why I love it, MJF, there are people love 
and hate MJF, but they respect MJF because MJF know who he is and know what he gonna be. He know what directions he gonna be. He knows the formula of what make people take off and what make people give him the attention that he needed. And people notice confident people. People know this about insecurity, insecurity people. They see that Cody and Brandy are trying their best to be something they are not. Cody, he's not Triple H. That's one thing. And he never want to be Triple H. That's, that's Cody. Okay, that's Cody. Brandy, on the other hand, I am worried. I feel like Brandy is under a lot of pressure to live up her husband's status. And her husband, Cody Rose, is well liked, well loved, well respected. Um, people go up to him to talk about wrestling. He's like the politician. Like when when he talks to you, it's like he's talking to you. <laughs> like you, if you if you watch interviews or you hear him like documentaries and shoot interviews, it's like he's relatable. Like his father. And people see that. And I feel that's why Brandy Rose saw the magic in Cody. Like we all do. And if that's the thing that get me a bit pissed off that Cody Rhodes changed his dark black hair for being blonde again. And I'm watching this yesterday and I shake my head. I was like, this guy got it. Got what the nightmare collection looked like. And he's like Ameri he's like American nightmare. That's the American nightmare look. The dark hair is American nightmare look on Cody. And he changed his hair to blonde. Are you fucking serious? Excuse my language. Cody, are you fucking serious? That was your look. That was your American Nightmare look right there. The dark hair. Everything is dark. Everything is spooky. You was aggressive. You was... Nasty. You was ruthless. And that's what people want to see. That Cody. But you go in Twitter announce that I'm gonna turn my hair blonde. That's how you mess up the momentum. That's how AEW suck. When you got that good moment that good turn and that good look and you throw it away. Say, oh, the blonde hair Cody is bad. And now I got my title. <laughs> and, and then I got egg in my face. 
when I defend um, the idea of you being this dark hair, no nonsense guy who doesn't care about new talents, but his own, that make an interesting story. You could create more new characters if you be in that American nightmare. Like you could book yourself to be the most feared in AEW. That's the power of wrestling. And you book yourself to be this egotistical, narcissistical person along with Brandy. And let me speak about Brandy. I, I ain't finished about Brandy yet. Brandy did this video on Twitter about her training in the rain and want to prove people wrong that I am training in the rain and I care about wrestling. When I look at it, I do not believe it. If she really cares about wrestling, she do, don't get me wrong, she do. But it's, if she care about herself to be a wrestler, she had to think of, if she truly wants to be a wrestler instead of what other people say about her. That's the thing. And when I watch it on Twitter of her doing these moves in the ring, I did not believe her because she's doing it for her fans. She's doing it for her haters. She do it for the people who judge her. She's not doing it for herself. If she really do it for herself, she would engage with the other women wrestlers. She would help the other women wrestler or give a honest, honest insight on on women's in wrestling. If she really care about herself to be a wrestler, she has to focus on what matters to her as a wrestler. And I know that being a wrestler is a hard job. And being a great wrestler is not overnight. And I did this video about Trish Stratus not being a GOAT in women wrestling. But she's a GOAT in WWE. Trish Stratus was hired because of her looks, because of her beauty. She was the beautiful girl in WWE or WWF at that time. She was eye candy. And WWE liked to hire eye candy because it gives ratings because guys love hot girls. Keep it 100. Guys love hot, sexy girls and beautiful girls that don't wrestle. But Trish, she trained. She looked at herself as a wrestler. She take bumps 
every day. She trained every day in the ring. And people that didn't know that she was training every day to be who she is in WWE. And that's why Trish Stratus is the GOAT. And Trish Stratus always get haters. You know, as like, oh, she's a slut. She's a whore. She's this. But she showing us that I can be that wrestler that everyone gonna talk from years from now. That's Trish. As for Brandy, Brandy always focus on multiple things. Like her cooking show with shots of Brandy. She's a chief brand officer. She is a wife. She was a ring announcer. And she is a wrestler. And for her that do multiple things, that's a good person who could multitask everything right in front of her. But when it comes to wrestling, she's not good at it. But at least she tries. And that's what I see Brandy can be the Nestra Stratus, but in her own name. But the issue is, do she have a heart to be a wrestler? Or a typical woman wrestler like the Bella Twins, like Brie Bella, and other women who are not good in reign, but gets a pass because they're in a relationship with a popular, powerful man in the wrestling industry. And she has to break that barrier. Like Trish break that barrier. Trish was hired to be the sex kitten. She is a sex kitten. But Trish take it more of a approach where this is who I am. If they want me to be a sex kid, I'll be a sex kid. I don't care. But however, I was hired to be a wrestler. And that's what Trish Stratus did. If Brandy was hired to be the chief brand officer and be part of AEW, right? She has to show her craft, show her way of doing things in AEW. If she was hired to be a chief brand officer and also to be escorted with Cody Rose, she got to be the best at it. But as a wrestler, she trying too hard. She really do. She is trying too hard to be something that she's not. And she doesn't need to prove anything. That's what I'm saying. As for Cody, his insecurities and his ego will cause a lot of problems backstage. And right now, things are are getting changed. Things are picking up. Things are going further than they actually is in AEW. And I feel that he could be the big dog. 
in a little dog house. But they're going to be someone that going to outshine him. And I'm going to be hugely honest. If someone outshines Cody Rose, you're going to hear rumors of him storming out, getting upset, having issues with the person that he is jealous with or envy with that got over without his help. We were going to be like, mm hmm. I knew that he's very into That's what people be saying. And I feel that Cody Rose and Brandy need to take a humble seat and be more sharing and caring. Okay? Brandy Rose and Cody Rose need to be like Sharon and Karen. Let let people have the spy, spotlight. Let people grow in AEW. Care about what's going on with them. On their journey in AEW. Enough with what Twitter say about them, about your company. AEW need to let people be. Like I did a video. AEW need to focus on themselves and what to do in AEW. And right now, what I see, everything in AEW is failing because Cody and Brandy is not sharing, not letting people to get over. One thing I like about the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega. They are self selfless. They are selfless. Believe it or not, Kenny Omega and their young books are selfless. You know why? The young books worry and care about other wrestling talents than they own. They make stars out of these people. They bury themselves to make people go over and make people stars. And that's why I respect the Young Bucks because for them to be like no one in wrestling and change what professional wrestling is by doing a YouTube video, by using social media, by building these characters around them that make them larger in life, make them relatable. That's why I respect the Young Bucks. Yes, people talk shit about the Young Bucks. They make fun about the Young Bucks. But one thing for sure, they make lemon out of lemonade. They make Jim Cornette talk shit about them. Because you know why? The Young Bucks changing the game. Okay? And the funny thing about it too, the Young Bucks is really intelligent. And they know. You don't, st- you don't feel it. But trust me, if you watch being an elite, they're like, these guys are geniuses. These guys are relatable. But as for Kenny Omega, 
love them or hate them. I say my fair share with Kenny Omega while I'm doing psychic reading on him and talking about him. But one thing about Kenny Omega, he makes sure everyone got their moment. He makes sure everyone will shine on their own. And Kenny Omega was the biggest, biggest freelance agent in the world in wrestling. And people was fighting over him to go to WWE, go to whatever company there is. And you know what Kenny Omega did? He chose AEW. Because he felt that A.W. would change wrestling. And also, he's very loyal to the Young Bucks and the people involved being elite. So loyal. And he's so selfish. He could book himself over. He could book himself like Cody Rhodes. But he choose not to. He choose that every wrestler should earn a spot. Should shine. And I feel that the Rose family, oh, Cody Rose and Brandy Rose, are letting these people, these so called AEW fans, into their head, especially in Twitter and social media. And Tony Khan, Tony Khan, social media got into Brandy. In Cody's head about this and that. But you got the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega push that aside and focus on what they good at is being being with the elite. I watched Being Elite show recently. Recently. I got I just got back to being elite. I think last last week. And I just love how they tell a story. And being elite, they tell a story. They tell a freaking story. About Adam Page getting pissy pissy drunk. Throwing watermelons or shit out of the back truck where Brian 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 Cutler and Brian Cutler he was just a cameraman was a nobody and he's and he's like a star things like that and I don't get why AW doesn't follow the uh, doesn't follow the essence, the lingo, what the Young Bucks is doing on being elite. They are not WWE. I'm going to repeat, AEW is not WWE. They are AEW. People fell in love with AEW because of being elite. Okay, and there is issues about Tony Khan and his views on wrestling, and people are not happy about it. But Cody Rose and Brandy Rose stick stick beside him, because he giving out the money. He giving out the checks. 
but I don't know. So this is Ty Williams. Good day and goodbye.